name is Lara Trzenski and I'm a civil engineer. I was always really interested in civil engineering. I really loved buildings and looking at them when I was in high school and thinking to myself that I wanted to be a part of building them someday. So that's how I chose my major. I really like civil engineering here at Pitt because there's so many options and it's a very broad major. If you want to be a part of treating water systems or you want to make concrete, um, there's so many options for you to be a part of what you want to. There's also a lot of hands-on opportunities. We have teams that make concrete canoes and also steel bridges. So, so many experiences that you can get while you're here. I wanna study construction management, which can sometimes be difficult because there's not a lot of women in the field. I'm in the Society of Women Engineers, which is a wonderful organization that works to support women within the engineering field to help them succeed. One of my favorite things about it is that we can do outreach events with children and teach them about engineering so that they can be the next generation of engineers. I'm also a part of Phi Sigma Rho sorority, which is a social engineering sorority. They all inspire me to be better engineers. Hi, my name is Ruby DeMaio and I'm a chemical engineer. When I was deciding what colleges to apply to, I was having trouble choosing between chemistry and chemical engineering. Obviously, I chose Pitt and chemical engineering and one of the things that really solidified that choice for me was the Pitt Excel program, which is Swanson's undergraduate diversity academic program. Pitt Excel is really a family, so I have a really great network and support system through that and I've also gained so many opportunities simply because of my involvement in that program. First being NSBE, the National Society of Black Engineers. For the past two years, I've been able to serve on eBoard first as a freshman representative and then as fundraising chair. One of the things that Pitt Excel offers is the summer research internship program, which is how I started out doing research. And I've been doing research for the past year under the same professor working on the same project. Through my Pitt Excel network, I was also helped in securing a co-op. And this August, I will be starting a co-op at Johnson & Johnson at their Fort Washington site and I'll be working with drug development and manufacturing. My name is Melly Smith and I'm a computer engineer. I chose the computer engineering program because it's a really good balance between the electrical and the computer science degrees. And majoring in computer engineering allows me to explore both of my interests and get one degree. And so far it's been really challenging but it's really rewarding. As I've progressed through my studies here, I've been able to find a community of engineers, but more than that, find a community uh, in Pittsburgh. And it's been really great, and it's helped me foster my own community through the organization I started called Diverse Them. And in that, I've been able to really interact with more LGBT people of color and like address our specific needs at Pitt and what we need to see happening for us and have a, a really good holistic space like to be ourselves. Also while I've been here I've had the opportunity to go on co-op and I'm currently working at ANSYS and the work that I'm doing there is technical documentation so it's not the typical um, computer engineering co-op but it's been really rewarding in that it's changed the way that I approach engineering in general I guess because I keep the user in mind now because engineers very commonly get caught up in like the technical details and everything but we need to make sure that the user understands as well so that's what I've been doing on co-op and it's been really enlightening and really valuable. I'm Spencer Zach, I'm an industrial engineer and I'm a member of the Drumline. I love being a member of the Drumline and spending a lot of time in the music engineering lab because I have a high attention to detail and I really like to work hard uh, to try and get to that perfect end goal. And this translates over into my skill set as an industrial engineer. And it's a big reason of why I chose the field of industrial engineering. 
Industrial engineering is very versatile. I kind of view it as the halfway point between business and engineering, which is a great combination for me because I'm very much a people person. Um, and this can be shown in the different industries that I've worked in. Um, so I've worked in manufacturing for two rotations of a co-op, and my next uh, rotation will actually be with Disney Engineering in the fall, where I'll be working to help optimize their business processes down in Orlando, Florida. Hi, my name is Natalie. I'm a material science engineer. My journey at Pitt got started with the Summer Engineering Academy, or SEA, which is hosted through Pitt Excel. And that really helped me get a strong foundation for engineering before my freshman year even started. And I've learned a lot of valuable skills that I still use today, as well as I've made a lot of friends that I'm still pretty close with now. Going through my first year of engineering, I was kind of undecided on what type of engineering I wanted to do. And one thing that really helped was going through the big seminars and I got exposed to all the different disciplines of engineering and I've landed on material science. And the one thing that really resonated with me was growing up, I used to walk through a bunch of stores with my mom and just like have to touch everything and wonder what like everything was made of. And that's one thing I really kind of get to explore and look deeper into with material science engineering. I've also got exposed to a program called Material Advantage and that allowed different professors and professionals to come in and speak more about their research and what they do and that's kind of how I got started on my research. I'm currently doing research in bamboo and looking at its structures and properties and trying to figure out different ways to make it more sustainable and used as a construction material. One of my favorite classes at Pitt was um, the art of making. And in the art of making, I got to work on a capstone project with several other students. My capstone project ended up being a system to help deaf children experience music in a new way and we called it the Vibrant System. And when we presented at the Design Expo, we actually won Best in our category, Best Overall, and Fan Favorite. My name is Ray Robbie and I'm a bioengineer. In my freshman year, I took Engineering 11 with a professor named Dr. Schaub, who not only was my engineering analysis professor, but also the first bioengineer I met. And through him, for my, in my spring semester, I was actually able to use his resources and his knowledge to write my conference paper, which is about artificial heart devices. Fast forward two years later, I'm part of the artificial heart team at the University of Pittsburgh Medical Center. And guess what? He's my boss. At the Artificial Heart Program, we help patients who are very sick and require a transplant. Uh, we do this by giving them mechanical devices to replace heart function and test them out to make sure they work properly so we can give them to these patients so they can sustain until they can get a heart. There is no textbook involved in any of this. It's very different than being in a classroom. There's no right answer. Every patient is different and you have to use not only what you learned in class, but also your experiences on the job to help these people out. And it, it's very applied and it's real life work. And it's extremely fulfilling at the end of the day to help these people who really are relying on you to get them to a normal life again. It opens so many doors for me after graduating because I know what I want to do after graduating is helping people. And the University of Pittsburgh is a university of opportunities. There are so many things you can do here. And if you're really passionate about something and you're seeking to find opportunities to expand your mind and see what you might be interested in, Pitt's the place to be at. <laughs>